All right, so the last time we got the VCA module out and we got things pretty labeled on the back. So what we need to do today is we need to pull these ribbon cables out and we also need to take our power cable out and then we have to desolder this little guy from the board. So let's check it out. All right, so we've got the VCA module out and on the bench. So here's what we've got going on down here. Um, so these are the ribbon cables that we took off and there's just a little bit of dust on here, but other than that, it's pretty clean. So uh, right under the group section here, we've got these two cooling fans, which again, they're a little dusty, but they're not filthy. Um, I can't tell if this is corrosion or just dust. It looks like it's just dust. So looking in the, uh, just the little tray here, it's a little dusty, but considering that the console is 20 years old and I don't really know much back history on it, I would say that everything, at least to the naked eye, looks pretty good. Um, so each one of these ribbon cables, we labeled them uh, with a, just a, a marker here, but they, they're in logical order. There's these little um, there's these little troughs that are cut in here, so they do kind of line up in the right order, so God forbid. I, I, I am, th I, am th um, I can't talk, I'm stuttering. I do think that I'm going to put a P-Touch label on here and just clean this uh, just, just to make sure that this uh, spike tape doesn't come off. But um, walking over here, I would ask you all to please pardon my messy desk. Um, here is the VCA module taken out. So these are the sockets that the ribbon cables run in. Again, they're not, they're not, they're dusty, but they're not super, super dirty, which is kind of cool to look at. Um, here's the back. I'm trying to do this one hand with the gimbal here. Uh, so you can see this is the um, ribbon cable socket that we were dealing with, or I was talking about uh, last week. Um, I left it in the console for about a week just because I didn't have a good place to put it, and I figured it was probably safer in there, but um, here's the back end of the board, which is really cool looking. Um, just as some comparison, there's an 8-channel little Soundcraft mixer that I keep on my, uh, my desk, and uh, there's the 10 VCA module of automation of the Midas console. Just a bit of a juxtaposition there. But uh, all right, let's get this battery uh, desoldered and check it out. Well, I tried my best to desolder at these points, but it, this guy is just not coming out. So I think the best thing to do at this point is I clipped one of the terminals over there and it, it came out all right. So I'm gonna do my best to get these guys out of here and try to do the best that I can about keeping this on camera. But I think these cards are gonna have to come out. So I'm gonna pop this guy. This is definitely not as easy of a project as I thought it would be. I can tell you that. So, uh, bringing this guy back over. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this in focus. Let's see what I can do to get in here. As gently as I can. I 
probably should have just cut these terminals to begin with. Actually, just be able to break this off. This thing just does not want to come out of here. There we go. All right. And there's our battery that we have taken out. So now I think it's going to be a lot easier to uh, pull these terminals out. All right, so now that I've admitted defeat and snipped the uh, terminals, I'm gonna do what I can to grab these little guys with a pair of tweezers underneath. Let's see. Wow, that doesn't want to come out. So I think I'm gonna put another little drop of solder on there just to just to heat it up. I will say that uh, whoever changed this battery did an excellent job soldering it because <laughs> it is impossible for this thing to come out. Yikes, this thing just does not want to come out of here. Some pliers, my little tweezers aren't doing the job here. from underneath it I'm trying so hard to be gentle with this and not cause any damage these just do not want to come out of here sorry for the construction noise we had a garbage truck driver knock out one of our uh, dock doors today it's about 6 30 and they're boarding it up so I thought this would be a good a good project to work on this evening while I'm waiting for the construction crew to finish up
so we finally got those little legs out of there. Um, sorry, some of my time lapse got got uh, destroyed. I got a phone call during that. Uh, I guess I should probably buy a camera, but alas, this is where we're at. So here's the new battery, 3.6 volt battery. This is the old battery, 3.6 volt battery. So just out of morbid curiosity, I just need to know is, is the was the battery dead? Did I need to pull it out? So uh, here's the moment of truth. Yes, <laughs> yes, it was dead. <laughs> All right, let's see the new battery just to make sure. 3.7, all right, there we go. All right, <laughs> well, at least it was worth it. So um, let's, uh, I'm just gonna reposition the camera here and we're gonna get the battery in. All right, so because these holes are still sort of partially filled with solder, I feel like I can I can kind of sneak this in here. I'm gonna see if I can just kind of crawl underneath and find these holes really quick. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, look at that, it even stays. All right, so get a little, it's a little bead of solder in there. I think if I'm just gonna tin the tip of this really quick. I'm just gonna heat this guy up. All right. It's like the equivalent of like tack welding. Oops, that's what happens when you hit your phone with a chair. Oh my God, I am. I had a little bit of flux. I very rarely solder with flux, but I feel like I really need it for this guy. It's sticking, kind of. All right. All that's in. And now for another, if I can get another five years out of that thing before I have to replace it. We should be good. So just out of morbid. Oh, here's one of the legs that's stuck to the uh, the solder or my uh, multimeter magnetic strip. I just want to make sure that I'm still getting. We're getting about 3.7 volts in there. I just want to make sure that we're still getting it. 3.799. Nine. Three, 3.8, okay, cool. And then just for the sake of me being a little OCD. And I'm not getting continuity on the positive and negative terminals, but I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing. Between those two terminals, we are, so. All right, um, all right, so that's, that's in. We're uh, one step closer to turning this thing on.